Hello and welcome back, Sam from Fine Watch Club Media here. Today's rather impromptu video, or perhaps more of a public service announcement, is on the Tudor Black Bay 58 versus a counterfeit knockoff, fakey, lookalike, pirate, dummy, phony, sham imitation Tudor Black Bay 58. A friend of the channel and member of the Fine Watch Club Club asked us to authenticate his relative's recently purchased Tudor Black Bay 58, acquired from a well-known marketplace. Sadly, it turns out to be an imitation. So we thought we'd turn this negative into a positive and try and share with you what's going on out there. So if you're interested in the Tudor Black Bay 58 and how to identify a fake one, spend a moment of time having a watch of this video. The Tudor Black Bay 58 was introduced at Basel World 2018 and what a terrific wristwatch Tudor brought us. The Black Bay 58 is a very popular piece, and I, like many others, had the pleasure of ownership. Before we get into it, here they are side by side, imitation versus legitimate. Throughout the making of this video, we managed to get ourselves into a right kerfuffle between which is which. The Black Bay 58 with its minimalistic dial and no additional complications obviously makes it easier to replicate, and this example here is a great pretender. First things first, to the naked eye and unaccompanied, the phony looks legit. However, upon reaching for a colleague's personal Black Bay 58, it became apparent that imitation is marginally lighter, first of a few red flags. Further side-by-side -side comparisons, we notice the faux patina look on the indices and minute markers look a shade or two lighter on the fakie, as do the fonts. Interestingly, and I'm not sure if it was a variety of different lights that was coming in the shop at the time, but the pip appears to be housed in a kind of yellowy gold case on the knockoff, compared with a silvery colour on the legit. Of course, the most damning evidence can be found under the hood, and inspection of the movement is an absolute must, and remains the tried and tested method in the industry for assessing, appraising any wristwatch. The removal of the case back on the Moody was very easy, another massive red flag. A relatively quick and easy disconnect of the bracelet with a spring bar tool, then simply place the watch in a vise to hold in situ whilst removing the case back. The vise is approximately £20 and the tool or key for removing the case back is about 30 The movement, whilst being automatic on the fake, bears no resemblance to the real deal Holyfield. As you can see, zero markings. I'd be pretty confident my children would point out the lucky. Biggest of red flags. Plenty of videos spotting fake watches on the internet, but rarely do we see the movement being investigated. Word of warning, the time grapher isn't necessarily going to give any clues either. The amplitude and beat rate are almost identical. The Black Bay 58 should be powered by the self-winding MT5402, which was also introduced at Basel World 2018. It's a self-winding mechanical movement with bi-directional rotor system. The MT5402 has 27 joules and a power reserve of approximately 70 hours. So to summarise, when purchasing a Tudor Black Bay 58, do bear in mind there are some very good fakes out there. The used market is currently fairly flush with used Black Bay 58s. As mentioned, the minimalistic dial and without additional complications makes this ideal for replication. Ultimately, examining the movement with a small outlay on tools or via a trusted watch dealer is the fastest, most comprehensive way to know for sure. These counterfeits will continue to improve, and to the naked eye we were finding it a real challenge to tell them apart. Hopefully we've highlighted an ever-present issue and potentially stopped another enthusiast falling victim to this scam.